I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Even before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name because of thy loving kindness and truth. For thou hast magnified thy name and thy word above all things. When I called upon thee, thou heardest me and induced my soul with much strength. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, for they have heard the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. As for the proud, he beholdeth them afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, yet shalt thou refresh me. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand upon the furiousness of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord shall make good his loving kindness toward me. Yea, the, thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Despise not then the works of thine own hands. Amen. Well, this is our psalm for today. It's one of the psalms that are appointed for the uh, 28th day of the yeah, of the calendar uh, for this month. And we get those again as normal, Book of Common Prayer. And I love Psalm 138. I read it directly out of here, out of the Coverdale Psalter. So yeah, it's got some of that old language. But first it begins, I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Not having a divided heart, not having a heart that goes in one direction and another direction, but, the, but wanting to, to, pr to cry out to God, to praise God, to, to give thanks unto him with all of ourselves, all of who we are. And that's the hope, right, for us. That's, that's the goal and, and how often we fail and yet these words go into our mouth or into our ears and, and out of our mouth, into our minds, out of our mouth, so that, so that we might at least desire to do this, that, that we might proclaim it as, God, this is what I truly want this to be, that my whole heart might cry out to you to give thanks unto you, even before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. That word gods, um, there's so many different ways that you can go uh, through this. It, it could mean that uh, elders, the, the, the people in power, uh, we, we could be talking about the idols before the false idols that were crying out that, that God is God, that, that we are praising him and, and nothing else uh, for the angels. Uh, so many different things can that, that word mean, gods. But then I love verse two. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name because of thy loving kindness and truth. So, so our worship comes out of who God is and how he's been portrayed to us as one who, is, who has loving kindness, mercy, uh, uh, care for us, and truth, meaning that he is one who can be trusted. And then the second part of the verse, for thou hast magnified thy name and thy word above all things. I love that, that portion of the verse, the fact that God is magnifying his name of who he is and his word, which tells us of who he is, tells us what his name means, tells us of, of who uh, this God is that we are serving, this God that comes to us, to, comes to us with a name, who we are, are, are desiring to have as our God. That's, that's how we, we wish to see things. We, we desire that he would uplift his name and his word in and amongst us because it is by his word that we, that we come to know him. We, we lift up the scriptures, right? We lift up the scriptures. And, and it's there that God has revealed himself in the way that he wishes to speak to us, in his word and his sacraments. That's how we as Lutherans uh, look at it. Uh, yes, there are supernatural ways in, in which God does reveal himself. This last Sunday, we had uh, Jeff Johnson with us, who talked about uh, the fact that in the Muslim world, Muslims are, are having visions of Jesus, dreams of Jesus, and, and part of that could be a lack of the, the ability to have the scriptures. Part of it could be an issue of, of literacy, uh, so that God is coming to them in a particular way, right? But also it could be the fact that God is wanting to interrupt their lives that they, they understand a particular thing and yet Jesus is coming to them in a different way to throw them off. And it is for us that when I read this verse, 
that you've magnified thy name and thy word above all things. It tells us that God's name, this name that we are not supposed to take in vain, that we're not supposed to misuse, that God is lifting that up. And that he's also lifting up his word. The two things that we tend to denigrate, right? We, we use God's name as a filth word or a filler word or, or whatever the case may be. The same thing with, with Jesus. Uh, we, we, we tend to say Jesus Christ and we're not praying. Uh, these, these things that we bring low, it's part of the reason why the commandment's there is to make us realize that we never uplift God's name the way that we should. And then his word, his word. Where we, we make excuses that, oh, I can't read it, it's too hard, it's too complicated, whatnot. Which, maybe that's true. And that's part of the reason why we have church and we have Bible study and we have all those things to help us understand it, help us to grow in understanding of it. But also, we have these things, which I have an app on my phone that makes it so that I have 10 trillion versions of the scriptures in here on my version app. So I can pick a translation, a version of the Bible that best fits my language to help me. But here in the psalm, we have words given to us as a prayer, which I want you to see these psalms as prayers. If, if you're ever wondering how to pray, pick up the psalms. And here we have this crying out to God saying, you have magnified your name and your word above all things. May that be the case. May God's word, may his res revelation, his, his, his speaking to us through the law and the prophets, his speaking to us through his son, Jesus Christ, the word in the gospels, be that which is above all things for us, where we find our life and salvation. May we hold on to that as the things that we wish to be for us in every way at all times, the things that are to be magnified by God himself above anything else that we could possibly lift up. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll go in peace, serve the Lord. We'll see you tomorrow with our sermon text for Sunday.